Yeah, so I actually grew up reading Rudyard Kipling short stories, and I, I think it's it's really great because, you know, I really do admire Mowgli, uh, you know, for his perseverance and everything, but he is almost like my, my hero in a way because he did grow up with these wolves and he was able to, to push through his obstacles. So I think it's it's really great to be able to bring this character, my almost one of my favorite characters to life. And also I think, you know, being like talking about the, the kind of iconic side of Mowgli, I mean, being able to bring Mowgli back to its roots, I think, is really amazing because we had the world premiere in India, and they are the people that kind of that love it the most and really grew up with it. So I think it's it's really amazing to have that opportunity. And how was it like to shoot with all these animals, just being alone? Oh uh, well, I mean, I with performance capture actually, I did shoot with Christian and Kate and Benedict and Andy, and that was that was really great because you know you actually get to work across from these guys. You know, you don't have to work across from a tennis ball, but you know, when you are working across from these dudes, you have to uh, you have to kind of raise your game and you kind of have to really bring your A game. But I mean, I did come back later and shoot with different performance capture actors, more for the movement and also for my my reference. But it is challenging to remember how Christian or whoever played it compared to these performance capture actors while keeping me, my, my organic, kind, my, sorry, my performance pretty organic, so, yeah. Um, what do you like most and least of your character? Well, I think the thing I really, I mean, the thing I really like most, I guess, you know, Mowgli and I are, are very different, but the thing I like most about him was probably uh, his perseverance because he, he really finds a way to push past every problem that he has because, I mean, you know, obviously he was brought up by animals and he has, ha he has had no human interaction. His parents were killed when he was just a baby. So, I mean, it is really great that he is able to push past his problems and his obstacles, uh, you know, while being able to make the best of every situation. Um, how was working with Andy as a director? Yeah, working with Andy was really great because, I mean, obviously he is the king of motion capture and he's, he, he knows what it's like to be on both sides of the camera. So um, I, I think it's, it's really great to, uh, to kind of be able to get that freedom with Andy because he, he does give you that freedom to explore the character while being able to guide you through the character. Because I remember actually one of the first things he told me was, um, I'll be there to guide you, but ultimately the authorship of the role is with the actor. And that was really amazing because, you know, what he was saying was he'll be there to, to push me down the right path, but ultimately, ultimately Mowgli is mine to discover. So I think that was really incredible. And the, your character is very demanding physically. Right, How did right. you prepare for that? Yeah, so I did a lot of research on YouTube, and on top of that, I actually went to camp, uh, camp out with wolves in upstate New York. And that was really amazing because, you know, you get to see how these wolves kind of interact with each other. And I, I tried to incorporate that into Mowgli. But, you know, with running and everything, with how, how wolves move, I really had to do some, some, some tough physical work for that. I had to, uh, you know, practice running on all fours. I had to, you know, do a lot of push-ups, pull-ups, wind sprints. And I, I did a lot of agility training as well. So that was, that was exciting. But, yeah. And um, what was the most difficult scene? Uh, I think emotionally, one of the most difficult scenes was probably the Kate scene with Christian because you know you, Mowgli really has to feel that 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 really that compassion that Bagheera brings him, but he also has to feel that betrayal that Bagheera is is kind of leaving him to to just to kind of leave him with the humans, and I think Mowgli really feels betrayed by that. But I think that was the most physically emo uh, the sorry the most demanding emotionally, but. Um, I think the most demanding physically was probably the running sequence where Mowgli is being tested by by the wolf pack, and I and you know because that is a lot of continuous running on all fours and that was challenging and it was a lot of work. But and do you think that at the end of the movie he finds his place? Yes. Yeah, so Mowgli actually, I think he finds out that he he doesn't really have a place, and he finds out that you almost don't need a place. You don't need that that kind of you don't need to fit in. You don't need to belong. And with, with kids of my age, with social media and everything, I think that's really important because these kids really, they, they don't have to, it, it shows that you really don't have to fit in because, you know, with social media, we everyone's being pressured to look a certain way or do a certain thing and be a person that's really not true to themselves and being a person that that is not them. And I think Mowgli shows them that they don't, that he's struggling to fit in, in, fit into these two worlds, if he even fits in at all with the world of animals and the world of humans. And... You know, with Mowgli on a much bigger scale, obviously, he teaches people that there you, you don't really need a place. You can kind of make your own place and follow your own path, and you can be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. And how did you keep balance between school and filming? Yeah, so, um, I mean, that, that was a lot of work, but uh, it, it, was, it was pretty good, actually, because, you know, education has been really stressed for me from a young age, and I, I do have a studio teacher on set um, for, for every movie, but... I mean, they, the studio teacher is always very good at um, communicating with my teachers back home. So. Mm -hmm.
and the movie is going to be on Netflix. Right, yeah. Would you have liked it to release worldwide on theaters? Well, actually, I, th I think that's the really great thing because obviously this movie was intended for the big screen and it, leading it with, a, uh, with a, a theatrical release is really great because... You know, it, people deserve to be able to see it in that in in the theaters. But I, I think um, with Netflix, it's really great actually because Netflix is the way that me and my generation really consume media, and I think almost a lot of people now, because um, you know, obviously it has such a big reach across the world. You can, you really would never get that really uh, that reach with just a theatrical release. So, mm. yeah.